I used Schedule 40 4 inch pipe for the shear pipes. Originally I was going to use the whole pipe. Bending 4 inch Schedule 40 to the shape of the hole was going to be a bear, so I decided I would split the pipe down the middle and use halves and just weld it to the outside of the hull material. I thought that would be easier. It wasn't. I wish now that I had left it full pipe and just fought that pipe in there because fighting half pipes was rough. And you'll see why here in a minute. In the meantime, we went ahead and marked up the pipes, snapped some chalk lines down the middle so that we could uh, get it properly cut and set up for putting it on the boat. That bang you just heard is the pipe when it's rolled up and welded together is under stress. So the first time you cut all the way down the middle it tends to pop apart. And if you're not ready for it it'll spook you. Each pipe is 21 feet long. You're talking 42 feet of plasma cutting just to get the pipes prepared to get them up onto the thing. It takes a bit but eh, what else are you going to do but build the boat? You'll notice that the pipe is warping and bending towards the middle. When it was all over with, that was actually helpful and helped get it wrapped to the hull. What I ended up doing was tacking the forward end of the shear pipe to the bow because that was going to be the worst part of the bin. So I wanted as much leverage to get around the uh, bow curve as I could. Then I would slowly ratchet strap them in and tack it along the top and bottom of the pipe as I went back. The shear curves up and down from the bow to the stern. So that curve is what really got me into trouble. As I would bring it in and then try to lift the pipe to match the curve, the bottom of the pipe would slowly roll out. And so I ended up trying to tack it a lot, trying to keep the bottom in as I pulled the aft end of the shear pipe up to match the shear. And it was a bear. So another thing I ended up doing was welding on uh, little tabs that I could grab a hold of with the gantry crane and pull the pipe or twist the pipe so that it would get up against the hull and I could tack it properly into place. I would end up doing this with either the gantry crane or a come along about every two feet just trying to keep this thing tight to the hull. So it was slow moving, a lot of it was off of ladders, so I would end up setting up a twist point using either the gantry crane to pull up or the come along to pull down, tack it all into place, move the ladder and everything two feet, crank in on the ratchet straps to bring the uh, half pipe closer to the hull, do it all over again, all the way down the length of the hull. This was all fairly precarious work at this point of about 12 feet up off the ground and yeah, okay maybe I don't keep my work area as organized as clean as I should but it really drove home that I needed to get rails and some kind of stanchion something to keep me from falling off this boat. 
Now you'll notice here that as I lift on the aft end of that pipe, the forward area there by my feet spreads away from the hull. And that is exactly what I was fighting and why I had to weld on those lifting points to twist the pipe up against the hull. There's actually an amazing amount of stress being put onto that lifting bar and there's quite a bit of load on that chain as I'm lifting it up. Luckily, by the time we got back here to the aft section, I was able to work off the uh, gangway ladder onto the boat. So that helped a bunch, a little less uh, ladder work and sped things up a little bit. But that's uh, 44 feet of shear pipe installed on each side. Now it has to be welded, finish welded on the top and bottom of that pipe the whole length. And that's a lot of welding and grinding and messing around. Unfortunately, all those places that I had to pack those little lifting or twisting bars also all have to be ground away. And I'm not going to do that on a video. 